Recently, the Florida Surgeon General called for a halt in the use of mRNA vaccines. In a statement from the Florida Department of Health, Dr. Joseph Ladapo said he is concerned about the risk of contamination to the human genome because of a small amount of DNA fragments in the vaccine. This is what he said, and I'm quoting, if the risks of DNA integration have not been assessed for mRNA COVID-19 vaccines, these vaccines are not appropriate for use in human beings. Providers concerned about patient health risks associated with COVID-19 should prioritize patient access to non-mRNA COVID-19 vaccines and treatment. Dr. Del Rio, you and I know the real FDA data here, so I'm having a hard time with what the Surgeon General said. Can you sort out what he's talking about? Well, Michael, I think it's hard to know exactly what he's talking about because he's confusing many things, right? These vaccines are mRNA vaccines. They're not DNA vaccines. And he is talking about DNA integration. DNA does not integrate like this. mRNA vaccines have been given to millions of people globally. They have proven to be exceedingly safe. There are some, some concerns about safety. One of them has to do with myocarditis, primarily in young individuals, primarily in young men. But again, the risk of myocarditis are still smaller than the risk of getting myocarditis from having COVID. And, and the vaccines have proven to be highly effective in preventing severe disease, hospitalization, and death. So really, it, it is unfortunate that he's saying this because those are some of the most effective vaccines uh, for the prevention of severe disease in COVID. Now, if you don't want to get an mRNA vaccine, you can get a, a protein-derived vaccine, a Novavax has produced a vaccine that has been approved by the FDA and is not an mRNA vaccine. The point is we need to get people vaccinated and we need to get people vaccinated with the most updated uh, uh, vaccine, you know, that has been produced for COVID, uh, which is, as, as, as Olga mentioned, the JN1 variant is really circulating and people who have not received the most recent updated vaccine are at high risk of not only getting the, the infection, but actually developing severe disease, getting hospitalized and having severe consequences of the infection. And let me add right here, Dr. Del Rio, that Dr. Ladapo also claims that the vaccine contains the monkey virus, simian virus. That information is wrong. There's no simian uh, virus in it. And uh, there's no uh, data. There's no evidence to back what he's saying. And uh, we would uh, totally agree with that uh, and uh, surprised, in fact, that he made those comments. But let me turn to Dr. Constant. Hearing that these kinds of things that are in a vaccine that could harm our genes is scary, especially for patients and parents who may not understand the science behind vaccines. So how do you deal with their fears? Because it's not true. Right, that's a great question because this is something that I'm faced with almost on a daily basis. And what I try to tell my patients is that I am here to guide them and give them the facts. And I try to explain to them that as physicians, we're trained to practice evidence-based medicine. So I give them the facts the best way that I can. I try to explain to them even just a little bit of like very basic science, just to kind of show them how ridiculous some claims are. And, um, and, and, and then it has been helpful. And I always say that I'm not pushing my own agenda. I don't want to offer my opinion. I don't want to tell them, well, you know, I did it. I gave it to my kids. I really just want them to know from a very unbiased perspective that this is important for you. And I explain to them why. And, and I just usually try to see if that works because for the most part, unfortunately, the minds are made up before they come in to speak to me. Good point there, Dr. Constant. Now, the mRNA vaccine does work differently than many other vaccines. Here's a video that explains how each type works. Take a look. How do vaccines work? When germs such as bacteria or viruses invade the body, they attack and multiply. This invasion, called an infection, is what causes disease. Vaccines can help protect against certain diseases by imitating an infection. Some vaccines contain weakened versions of a bacteria or virus. Others contain only part of the bacteria or virus. And vaccines, like the mRNA vaccines that fight COVID-19, contain only the genetic material for a specific disease protein. All of these vaccine varieties stimulate the body's immune system to build up defenses against the infectious bacteria or virus without causing the disease. After vaccination, the immune system is prepared to respond quickly and forcefully when the body encounters the real disease-causing organism. 
The presence of these antibodies build immunity to the disease and protect us from experiencing serious symptoms or even getting the disease in the future. For more information on vaccines and vaccine schedules, please visit cdc.gov vaccines.